We're going to continue with our product simulation example. We finished a point estimate for the profit. We're now going to add some variability. The fixed cost, for instance, will be a uniform distribution. Any value between this and this is possible. We're just not sure what's going to happen. The labor cost will be a normal distribution with a mean of 45 and a standard deviation of $3 per item made. That makes something over 50 quite unlikely. Our materials cost will follow a discrete distribution with an $83 per item possibility of just 10%, 60% chance of $95 per item, and $110 has a 30% chance of happening. These numbers were really created just to make an example. Competitor's price is uncertain, and this too will be a discrete distribution with a 60% chance of $150, 30% chance they'll charge $180, 10% chance they'll charge $200 per item. Average demand is based on a linear regression equation. That will calculate the average demand based on what we charge. However, we think it will be 30% higher or lower than what we predict by this regression equation. So we're going to have to take 70% and 130% to give us a minimum and maximum for a uniform distribution. We've already done the point estimate. This time we'll use a program called At Risk in Excel to do a Monte Carlo simulation to determine the distribution of the profit based on the distributions we had defined above. Let's return to Excel and we'll first make a copy of our point estimate we did previously. Right mouse clicking in the name move and copy. We'll just create a copy. And I'll double click and call it variable estimate. I've already loaded in the software program at risk. You can find that under the Windows button, um, the start button. It brings in a new ribbon in Excel. This is Excel Office 2007 and this is at risk version 6. The first thing I'm going to do is um, there are many ways to tell at risk what you want for distributions. I like to put values into Excel. So off to the side here for the fixed costs I'm going to put in the word fixed of course but it was a uniform distribution with a minimum and maximum of $110,000 and $240,000. So now I'll click on the fixed cost currently of 180 and define the distribution by choosing the uniform distribution. And we could type in the numbers here, but I'm going to use the use Excel references. Click on that little icon and make sure I click on just the minimum. I'll choose the 110,000. Click on the maximum. I'll choose the 240. I'll leave the static value as is. Click on return to wizard. That's my uniform distribution for the fixed costs. Notice this formula. This is what gets typed into the Excel spreadsheet cell. Click on OK and you'll see that's the formula that gets typed in. For labor, let's come over here and type in the mean and the standard deviation, which are going to be $45 per item and $3 per item. Now we can click on Labor, choose Define Distribution. This time we'll choose Normal, select Distribution. And again, we can just type in the numbers, but I'd like them in the Excel spreadsheet. Click on the Mean. I'm going to use the 45. Click on the Standard Deviation. Click on the 3, I'll leave static as is, return to distribution. Click on OK because that's the normal distribution we wanted. For materials, this was going to be our discrete distribution that was either $83, $95, or $110 with probabilities of 10%, 0 0.1, 0 0.6, or 0.3. So let's click on the materials, define distribution, click on discrete, 
select distribution, and again we'll choose the, let's go to Excel and get the numbers. Make sure you click on just the X table, highlight those three values, click on the P table or probability table, highlight the three probabilities. I'll leave the static value at 95, or if you wish, click there and click on the 95 that you have in your Excel spreadsheet. Return to Wizard. And you might recall that's what our discrete distribution looked like when we were doing the looking at the problem statement. Click on OK. Next is our competitor's price. So let's do another discrete distribution layout where we said it was going to be either 150, 180, or $200 with probabilities of 60%, 30%, and 10%. We'll click on competitor's price, click on define distributions, click on discrete, and select distributions. Again, we'll go to use Excel references. Make sure you click on just the X table. Highlight the three X values. Click on the probability table. Highlight the three probabilities. You can leave the static as is. Click on return to wizard. And that's the discrete distribution for the competitor's price. We'll click on OK. The last thing we need is our actual demand was going to be 30 to 130 percent of the average demand. So let's come down here and put for demand a minimum and a maximum that was going to be equal to 70 percent, 0.7 times the average demand and the maximum, which is going to be equal to 130% or 1.3 times the average demand. Change the formatting there real quickly. And now we can come up to our actual demand and change this to a discrete distribution. Return to the at-risk ribbon. Click on Define Distributions. Click on Discrete select distributions. Once again, go to use Excel references. I'm sorry, I choose discrete. I meant to choose. And gives me a chance to show you this little button. Select a new distribution. Choose the uniform distribution. And for uniform, we need the minimum Sorry, let's go to Excel. Minimum to be and the maximum to be. And those are our new values. For our actual demand, I see here that there's a little G8 plus got added in. I'm going to click on OK, but I'm going to have to edit that out of the formula. I do not want that in there. Now we've defined all the things that have variability to them through distributions. It's now time to start our simulation. We'll do that in the next segment. For now, I'm just going to save this so we can start fresh and see how this goes.